Hello and welcome to my channel, hope you a pleasant day in Sandbox and the Crimson Peak 4K Limited Edition from Arrow Video. To be honest, I had no intention of purchasing the set when it first went up for pre-order. I'm not um, entirely sure why because I do quite like the film and it seemed like a pretty reasonable price. I've uh, been seeing a lot of posts recently over on uh, Facebook and Instagram and it actually got me uh, quite excited. It does look like a really high quality set. Not you know, putting it down on anything made by Arrow Video, but I think they've done a really great job with this release. Uh, the set is still available on um, HMV, so I'll leave, leave a link in the description to that. And I think we will get straight on the unboxing. So, got the handy little pen knife here, not going to fend off ghosts, but at least it'll do something. And make a little um, cut there. And um, hopefully, the cellophane won't be too much of a problem. So, for some <laughs> weird reason, I've got this sort of ribbon on there, I guess just to hold the set down. I think we'll first take that off to make it a bit easier i'm going to throw that straight in the bin have no intention intention for that so crimson peak and like a lot of arrow stuff you've got an absolute ton of um, special features technical aspects you've got um, adobe audio no vision or um, atmos but i imagine this is going to look pretty good and then with the blu-ray looking quite good as well so limited edition uh, 4k so um, there's no glue on there uh, it's just your very basic sort of um Oh, it's actually card rather than paper. That's nice. Uh, put that to one side and I will take you through the box. So um, Crimson Peak. And of course you've got the really weird sort of blood ghost on there. A film by Guillermo del Toro. Crimson Peak. It's all got a really nice matte finish um, on there. It's actually got a sort of quite a nice texture. Um, I can't actually remember the significance of this um, image to be honest. But... Um, it does have something to do with the film. There's the side there, the top and the bottom. So I open it up and um, yeah, it's hard. It is, um, well, the set at least. I know that was a really dodgy joke. But um, yeah, got the ghost there. So I think we'll leave the Digipack last and we'll go through everything else. So um, got a couple of little um, art cards and stuff. So advertisement for some hook hand. Don't get hooked. Yep, very clever. And there's um, sort of uh, advertisement to their um, streaming service. So yep, it's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, we'll go through the art cards. So um, yeah, I can't actually remember many of these characters. Character. I think she was called Lucille, if I remember. I mean, you've got a number. I saw this film when it first came out, when you know, whenever that was. So um, Edith, I think. I think it was called Edith. And of course you've got Thomas, that's the only one I remember. Um, on the back, of course you've got um, alternative artwork on each side, which is nice and, and it does show off the characters. Uh, nice matte finish, sort of good quality cards. And we will put that to one side. So this is the um, double-sided poster, which comes with the original artwork. Beware Crimson Peak. Turn it over and we've got some sort of cool artwork with the mansion there i think i recently heard they actually knocked down the set of the um house is, is, if that's right i probably got that completely wrong i mean you know what um the internet's like so um inside you've got the disc which i do find sort of quite unique on the way it's housed uh no blu-ray in the set it's just the 4k so um some nice artwork on there and not really much else just a little ribbon to um pull the contents out and it seems my set is starting to come away a little bit. Um, maybe that's a manufacturer issue or something. But um, I'm not really going to complain. I got this with 20% um, off. So can't really moan. And I imagine this will go out of stock quite soon. So um, yeah, some really nice artwork. I think that was actually on one of the mantelpieces in the film. I remember. But yeah, really like the artwork. And it's nice it comes with a slip cover, slip cover on the booklet. Because you don't really usually see those on that. So Crimson Peak and of course Hard Book. So we'll have a quick look through. So Thomas um, and the Edith cast. Some really cool set designs. Gonna make Del Toro directing, because you know, that's sort of his job. Thomas. Um, I think we just put 
put this down. So, yeah. Edith again. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty packed book, which is, you know, usual standard for um, Arrow video. And some, yep, yeah, all there. But, yeah, it is uh, it's a decent amount. You've got some nice story uh, board art there. Well, concept art, I mean. But, yeah, I do like the uh, set on that design on that. That is actually quite creepy. And yeah, that's what I look like in the morning before I go to work. Just a sort of bit of a sludge there. A bit creepy. And yeah, just some more concept art. But yeah, that's really nice. And a special thanks to these people. And yeah, love makes monsters of us all. But yeah, that is a really nice looking book. Very sturdy. And that is everything that comes in the set. So, as I said, it's still available on the H and V or you know elsewhere. So I will leave link, leave a link in the description to that. I can't talk today. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you again. Goodbye.